vidIQ Chrome extension. In this video, we're going to show you how to install vidIQ on your YouTube channel. To get started, click the link in the description and it's going to take you over to vidIQ. Once you arrive, you're going to sign up for a free account. So enter your name, your email address, create a password and then agree to the terms and click on sign up for free. Once you've signed up for free, I want you to click on the next link in the description that's going to take you to vidiq.com forward slash vision which is then going to have this install chrome extension button and we're going to click on that and it's going to take you through to the chrome web store where vidiq vision for youtube can be added as an extension on chrome so i've already got it here so mine says remove from chrome you're going to add the extension here with this button. Make sure it is the vidIQ vision for your YouTube extension. Once you've added the extension, you're going to have this little IQ pop up to show that you have the vidIQ basic extension installed. And this is going to give you a whole lot of shortcuts to your YouTube channel, to your videos, your comments, messages, and your subscribers and your analytics. These shortcuts are really useful when you want to get into your channel. There are a few that are limited to the Pro and Boost, where it's a paid part of VidIQ. But for now, we are just going to install the free Chrome extension. Once you have it installed, it's going to help you to research and find the right keywords for your videos to get more views. It's also going to help you discover the secrets behind successful videos and it's also going to help you do a personal audit on your YouTube channel. The final thing that this vidIQ is going to help you with is to take action to get more views on your videos and get more subscribers. Now that you have vidIQ installed on your computer, let's look at how we can use it and how it's going to help you in discovering new ways to get views on your videos. The first way is in keyword research. So if we type a keyword term into the search bar, how to verify your YouTube account, you'll see that we are ranking first for the specific search term and the vidIQ toolbar is gonna to pop up on the right hand side and give you some information about the specific search term that you have typed into the top here. So our search term is how to verify your YouTube account. The highest views for this is 1.2 million. Average views is 200,000. Average subscribers, 44,000. And then a bit more detail, and the top creator is Daryl Eves. Now we're going to get a keyword score for the specific search term and it's going to give you a search volume score as well as a competition score and from these two scores it's going to give you an overall rating. So the search volume for this term is 57 and the competition is only 30. Now when you're looking for keywords for new videos that you want to make, you want to find a keyword with a high volume score and a low competition score. You don't want to be competing with a lot of videos and channels for the specific keyword but you want the search volume to be high so lots of people are typing in the search term into YouTube. The other nice thing that they give you is top search keywords. So they give you suggestions around the keyword that you've typed in that people are searching that's very similar. And if you hover over these keywords, it'll then let you know what their search volume is, their competition score, and give you the overall rating. So this first Term, the volume is 19 which is quite low the higher competition score of 30 the second term has a volume of 33 with a competition score of 27 and the third one has a higher search volume 47 and the competition score is around 29 so you can get ideas around different kinds of keywords that could be better for you to optimize your videos around the second part is the discovery tab. So our vidIQ gives us a whole lot of information once we are on the actual video. On the right hand side, you will get a whole lot of information. Some of it is only shown to you when you upgrade to the pro version. 
if you find it necessary to upgrade, you can. We are still using the free version and we think it works very well for what you need it for. So you get an overall score. So vidIQ gives you a score on the popularity of the video based on a whole lot of factors that happen within your YouTube video. So this one is 57 out of 100. Not the best score at the moment, but we have got 40,000 views on this video. So it is ranking well for the search term. On the social side, the engagement isn't great. It's about a 2% engagement. And then we have 13 likes on Facebook for this. And this will show you how many followers you have on different platforms for your YouTube channel. So these are things that you can monitor and see if you're looking at competitors' videos. If you're looking at your competitors' videos, you can see how many followers they have. And you have an SEO score, so you can have a look at the tag count, tag volume, keywords in the title, keywords in the description, triple keywords, and then get a performance. So how the video is performing. These actionable scores out of 50 and the performance is out of 50 and then the total VidIQ score is out of 100. So just remember your 41 is what you can take action on and the performance is how the video is actually performing and how long people are watching your video for. This lets us know how many of the suggested videos are from the same creator. The description word counts, how many in screens you've got, your word per minute and how many description link terms you have. This is quite a cool one that lets you know how many referring external web pages link to this video. And then obviously the blurred out parts that are from our pro version. This is to compare the views on this video to your normal views on a normal video. And there is an optimization checklist that you can see if you haven't added cards to this video and you haven't added the closed captions and you haven't replied to a recent comment. So this is everything that you can keep track of where you can take action to improve your chances of ranking your video. And then we have the summary for the channel, how many views we've had on the channel, our average daily views average daily subs, the number of subscribers, and a bit of a ranking statistics as to where we are. And the last cool part is it shows you the video tags for this video and where the video is ranking for these specific search terms. So verify YouTube account, it's ranking number three. How to verify a YouTube channel, ranking number two. How to verify your YouTube account, ranking number two. And so verified YouTube channel number eight. So you can see exactly where your video is ranking according to these tags. And the cool part is you can look at your competitors and see where their videos are ranking for specific search terms. And if we head back to our home page, you're going to have a look at the channel audit. On the left hand side there are a whole lot of good IQ tabs that you can use and we're going to go to the channel audit tab and this is going to give you a summary on the last 30 days so our views are down this month to 33,000 from 36,000 last month our subscribers are up 50 percent nice and our watch time is slightly up then it gives you a breakdown on which videos are performing well and which content you should double down on so a views per hour, which is how many people are watching your video every single hour. And we've got a 15, 7, 6, which is nice. Engagement rate, so how many people that are watching your video that are actually engaging with your video. We've got an 18, a 13, and a 4. And then the views that you are getting on certain videos. And which videos are gaining the most subscribers. In which videos are performing the best for you there. If you upgrade, you get a bit more information and insights. So total watch time, so which videos are giving you the best watch time, which have the best average watch time, which of your videos holds your audience for the longest attention, uh, your top playlists, the top videos that are suggesting your videos. So it's really nice to keep track of these into the app. Your top search terms, that your channel is ranking for, 
for in-screen click rates and their cloud card click rates. Content that isn't working very well, so you can then have a look at which videos are not performing very well, why they're not getting likes, why is the audience retention so low, and then you can analyze how you can improve your videos, and it will also show which videos are losing subs for you. And the last bit is the metrics over the last three days, a bit of a checklist to check that your titles are a good length, your descriptions are a good length, you have enough tags, you have your videos linked to enough playlists, you are taking the right actions to get your SEO scores close to you can to that 50 mark, and none of your videos are missing cards, none of them are missing end screens, all of them have custom thumbnails, and all of your videos have been added to a playlist. And then your posting schedule, how many videos you're posting each week. Remember, we always recommend that you post at least one new video to your YouTube channel a week. You're just above that safe average. And then places where you can take action to get more views on your videos and to increase the number of subscribers that you have. So one thing to check is once you're in your video, you can scroll down below your tags and check the recommended tags from vidIQ and they will recommend a few of the tags. If you don't have these tags added, you'll have a lot of plus button here and you can add them to your list of tags that you currently have. If you want to find out more about vidIQ, you can check out the vidIQ YouTube channel right here. They have lots of videos and tutorials on how to get you started with their Chrome extension. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and we'll see you in the next video.